With Node.js, we can program in several security systems. And one important feature from these systems is the usage of hash functions, functions to create a security resume from the messages. So, exists today several famous and well-utilized algorithms for this purpose. And with Node.js, we have implementations from these algorithms and let's see here how to use them. First of all, we are going to use the crypto library. So we need to install that in our system with the npm uh, command, install crypto. So downloading the library, it's available to be required by our code. And then we can utilize that. One crypto object can create a hash, which is create hash function. And the parameter for this function is what kind of algorithm we are going to utilize for generating the hash. The choose of the algorithm is very important because uh, it says many things. For instance, how to how is the whole how will be the size of this key, how bigger the, the, the key is. The idea is that it's more secure because it's more hard to be broken and need um, pure strength attacks. So once we define the algorithm, we can ask the algorithm to to be updated with the parameter, the message we are going to cipher. In this case, it's a string, a constant string, but could be any array of bytes to be ciphered. And the last method is the digest. Then this method itself that will create the hash using this algorithm for this message. So this code will create the, the hash for M5 algorithm. It's another one for SHA-1 algorithm, it's another one for SHA-256 algorithm, and this one for SHA-512 algorithm. The idea is that this, this one is the biggest, um, generates the biggest key, so could be the more safer algorithm to be utilized. However, it demands the usage of more space for each generated hash. Okay, so let's take a look in output, in the in the in the length of generated keys and how they could be presented for we can follow the results of these cryptographic functions. So here we have the output, the the cipher, the digest message, always return to us a buffer from exit decimal values. So M5 generated a key with a hundred. 28 bits, it means 16 bytes. Um, SHA-1 with 160 bits, it means 20 bytes, and so on. And But here we can see we have 16 entries in the array, 16 bytes. However, when pre presenting that in string manner, it's appear with 32, with, in this case, here with 64 hours the double, hours the, hours the double of the size because, because here we have hexadecimal representations. However, when it converts into string, its hexadecimal char is converted to a normal char that consumes a entire byte. So here we have the hexadecimal representation and here we have the string representation. And so here we have one example of how to use different kind of hash functions using the Node.js programming language.